I'm Sandy Davis uh, from Oswego, New York. Um, I was thinking as I was coming here that when I was in high school, I didn't fit in very well and I couldn't figure out really why. I thought maybe it was because I didn't do small talk very well or I just wasn't pretty enough or mm -hmm. and I truly didn't get it figured out that I just wasn't into the go have ice cream and mingle guys and girls. When I was in my senior year in college, I, I met another woman who became my partner for about five years. And um, we still kept dating guys. I mean, it was just, okay, this is a phase. <laughs> and I, I guess I got pretty angry during that stage of my life, and that would have been in my 20s, um, because other people could walk hand in hand going down the street, simple stuff. But I, I realized that I was really angry when we had come back to our apartment one evening and there was a car that was parked with a guy and a girl in it, and they were making out at the end of a dead end street or road really, which was where our upstairs apartment was. And I was just livid. And it was one of those aha moments that this just isn't working, uh, or somehow I'm, I'm not a part of things. And I just, I said, I, I gotta find people like me. Um, at that stage, Oh, that would have been in the 70s. There was basically nothing but bars. And that didn't really work very well for me because I don't drink, I couldn't play pool, and they didn't smoke. And they were smoky and they were dark and you had to play pool in order to get anywhere, I guess. I was totally afraid. And, and pretty much, mm, you know, for us growing up, it was, we're not good enough. So when you see a gathering place that is ugly and, you know, hidden away, it doesn't help your self-concept any, I don't think. I do remember also, though, there were three former students in that bar, my former students. And two of them came up to me, and the third, I went up to her. So it was, there was a tremendous freeing, I think, even though I thought, oh, you know, this, I, I don't think I got a whole huge lot of pride out of having been able to go there, but I did get relief and a feeling that there, honest to goodness, was community out there, and it was okay, I, I could belong there. 